here because I want to add my voice to the people who are telling Senator McConnell and his Republican allies to do their job to respect the Constitution and give a hearing to President Obama's nominee for the Supreme Court. I'm Sandy Ostrom and I'm Betty's co-worker and we're really happy to be here today to tell the Senator to demonstrate our support for the work he's doing in the Senate to bring about the final seating of another person for the Supreme Court. Absolutely. Well, as you know, the Senator agrees it's, and he's very passionate about the issue and um, you know, he's going to continue to push, uh, continue to push for a hearing, um, and for the for his colleagues to do their job and and, and do their duty, and uh, and he'll be continuing to be speaking on it. So thank you for coming. Well, this, yeah. this one, Scotus, probably yeah, on the side. Yeah. Yeah. This is happening all over the country. And it's pretty exciting to think we're part of a bigger picture here because they're holding Republican senators accountable to their job. Our senators, anyway, our representatives, we let them know. I'm not sure about the other side. Franken, Franken, Bush their loves. Supreme Court Justice. Because I know we got to get this done. <laughs> and it's the first time I've ever gone to a rally, whatever, but I know we've got to get this done. Absolutely. Anything Al Franken does, I'm behind that guy. All you have to do is look at his eyes and say, does he blink when he talks to you? He looks you direct, he's honest. So is Klobuchar. Love her too. We are part of Move On uh, Day of Action today to thank uh, Senator Franken and other Democratic senators uh, around the nation for uh, standing up to uh, for the Supreme Court nominee. And uh, that's why we're all here, to say thank you. Not a protest, just a rally of thanks. Well, terrific. Well, I know the senator appreciates it. Um, uh, thank you for taking your time to, to come meet with me. Um, you know, this is a very important issue for the senator. I'm sure um, some of you saw he, he wrote a, uh, an op-ed uh, with uh, Senator uh, Dave Durenberger a few weeks ago. That was in the Star Tribune. Uh, bipartisan op-ed, um, you know, showing that this is this is a bipartisan issue. Yeah. Um, the senator has, uh, you know, he's been really concerned about the fact that, um, you know, folks, some folks in the Senate have said they aren't going to have a hearing. Um, and, you know, he has continued to push for the fact that uh, we need to have a hearing and we need to fill this vacancy. Um, this is something we've been doing for a hundred years, holding holding hearings for the nominees, and this would be uh, unprecedented uh, to not have a hearing. So he is going to uh, continue to advocate loudly for the fact that we need to do our the senator or the Senate U.S. Senate needs to do its job, needs to hold hearings, and it needs to fill the Supreme Court vacancy. Charles handles judiciary issues for Al here in Minnesota. Right. I'm not too tall, so <laughs> I <laughs> come in closer. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thank you.